what is up ladies and gentlemen welcome back to the brandon coin youtube channel and today we're talking about the rx 6600 xt this just released a few days ago people are just now getting their hands on them and starting to play with them um and let's talk about should you buy them would you buy them profitability that kind of thing and um yeah so let's just get back into the old swing of things here uh jumping over to the website amd.com just wanted to go, skim over a few of the specs they are touting this as an epic 1080p gaming uh, card. These are MSRP at $379. So they're, they're priced right for uh, high-end 1080p gaming. Uh, they have 8 gigs of GDDR6. Uh, so they have a good amount. I've almost said 6X. It's regular GDDR6. So they have a good amount of VRAM there. Um, definitely be able to mine quite a bit of algorithms. Um, and going further down here... Uh, Typical board power, TBP, uh, they're at 160 watts, but they run significantly lower that, at that when they're mining. Um, 32 compute units, and there's something else. Um, oh, memory bandwidth, 256 gigabytes per second, and memory speed is 16 gigabits per second. So just take that and just mm, think about that. Ethereum loves that, that memory speed. Now going over here to nice hash profitability calculator they already have the 6600 they're on the game for getting these kind of numbers up so right now if you're on nice hash and you're mining with the 6600 xt you would be profiting or sorry you would be making two dollars and 52 cents a day before power if you have your power rate like mine at 0 0.11 cents per kilowatt you would be profiting two dollars and 36 cents a day so these are fairly low power cards this, um this one card would only be burning 16 cents a day uh configured correctly so going down here uh on dagger hashimoto which is ethereum mining they're doing 32 mega hash at 60 watts yes check that out ladies and gentlemen 60 watts very very low power here um kapow they do 16 mega hash at 60 watts i would almost dare to say if you could give it a little bit more power they could probably do a little bit more speed but that's a trade-off you know because it costs you more to make more uh also z hash 34 souls at 60 watts so super super low power card very very conservative if you're if you live in an area with super high electricity this may actually be a, a pretty decent card for you to get started mining and playing some video games on now the elephant in the room these bad boys are so expensive, you can't get your hands on them um, in the resale market. Going over here to eBay, if you search buy it now, lowest first, the cheapest one currently on eBay is $620, and then it just goes up from there, $630, $640, $650. Um, they're, so they're reselling for almost double MSRP at the moment. And um, yeah, that's not a good look right out of the gate. A lot of people were thinking that AMD was going to saturate the market and they had a ton of inventory of these 6600 XTs, but it just doesn't seem that way. There's only 51 results on eBay a couple days after launch. Maybe that's just because people haven't got their hands on them yet, but um, it just it doesn't seem like there was a, a big launch for these. I did enter the New Egg Shuffle and I have been unsuccessful at getting my hands on one of these. On the New Egg Shuffle, they're going for 379 to 500 range, brand new, so depending on the model. Um, now, jumping over here to StockX, they're actually already on StockX. Um, they're going for 630 plus, so no better deals there. And I didn't see any pre-builts currently out that have the 6600 XT built into them. So, um, man, it's just one of those things. Like, at 379 to get 32 mega hash at 60 watts, that's a great card. Even at 400 bucks, that's still a really, really good card. Um, I'd probably buy them if I could get my hands on them for less than 500 Being that it's current generation, so it's going to have decent resale value. It's not like you're buying an old 570 or 580. Um, they're going to game pretty well. So if you do want to play some video games and you get out of mining, you can do something with it or you can resell it to a gamer. Um, and uh, I guess probably the third and the, the biggest thing about these is they're efficient. So them doing 32 mega hash at 60 watts is the equivalent of a, a finely tuned like 3060 Ti doing 60 mega hash at 120 watts. You're getting that um, one mega hash for two watts, which is really, really good. Um, that's a good range to be in. Uh, there are a couple cards that do break past that, but definitely not in this price range. So um, yeah, that's that's pretty much how the uh, 
how it goes on this bad boy. So thanks for watching, guys. Um, we'll see you on the next one. So basically, if you can get your hands on them for a decent price, go ahead and grab one. And if you have one out there, or you have a couple of them, and you want to consider selling me one, I'll give you I'll give you a little bit of money on top. I'd love to be able to get my hands on one of these and do some videos with it. If you want me to, I can put you on, you know, give you money as a retainer, and then you can give me the money back if you want the card back, or I could just buy it, you know, any any of those kind of things. So um, other than that, I'm probably going to go inside and take a breather because it is super, super hot today. Um, I think the outside temperature, the weather person was, or the weatherman was calling for like 97 degrees Fahrenheit and real feel with the humidity and everything around 105, 106. So I don't have my insulation up yet, but I did get a box of it in. It's um, I got a four foot by 100 foot roll. I think I'll need maybe two more of those rolls to finish everything. Uh, but I'm currently waiting on my tape. So I bought some of that aluminized, like, HVAC ducting tape. I was going to tape up all the, the edges and stuff, um, all my, where it meets up, all my joints. And then I was going to foam, uh, insulate, uh, insulate foam all the corners. And then I'm probably going to run um, some of that insulation, um, that rollout insulation inside of there. Because that bad boy radiates some heat. It's pumping a lot of it outside, but it is radiating it too. So I have a thermometer gun right here on my desk, which it's hot in here. The only reason I can actually stand it is because I have an AC blowing on me like this. I did not run my AC all night or all day. I just cut it on when I came in here because uh, I wasn't going to try to to cool this thing off with no, no insulation. Uh, but on my desk right now, it is 97 degrees fahrenheit and if i point it right here on that wall the outside of that wall is 106.5 so 10 degrees difference just from my desk to the outside of that wall that's how much heat's inside that thing it's probably easy 110 to 115. um i actually got a little thermometer deal and i put a uh, a wireless receiver inside there i'm going to be doing a video on that so if you guys are interested check that out i don't know i'll probably end up doing that later today but um yeah so just trying you know keeping you all updated um so thanks for watching ladies and gentlemen we'll see you on the next one what temperature are you watch out watch out all right peace out later guys Where's the old jellyfish people at? I ain't seen a lot of jellyfishes around. They ain't been swimming like they used to. It's all right. I got something for coming for y'all here soon. Dang, I need to shave. I'm getting a little bit of, a little bit of neck beard down there. All right, the video's over. I don't even know why you're still here. But I appreciate you. Thank you. Have a good day.